You know, a little chilly weather is not enough to stop the glass pumpkin patch from going on. Look at these beautiful works of art. Now, they have a signature piece every year. That would be this one that you're seeing right now. They only make a certain amount. When they're sold, they're gone. They're gone. But they also have different types of produce, the mushrooms, the acorns, the little itty-bitty pumpkins. But take a look around here. It opens at 1 o'clock. People are milling around, kind of figuring out what they want to buy. And at 1 o'clock, they do a countdown. And then it's 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 every, all hands on deck, man. So we'll tell you what's going on this year, the demonstration after we take a look at what else is happening in today's weekend, or it's a busy one. Not only do they have the glass pumpkin patch and beautiful fall colors, but the Morton Arboretum also has walking plays. Follow the actors through the landscape grounds in the Sherlock Scandal this weekend in various dates through October. The Scarecrow Festival is a fall favorite in downtown St. Charles. You'll see over 100 handmade and mechanical scarecrows, or you can make your own. There's also an arts and crafts show, live music, and a carnival. It runs through Sunday. Cleverly costumed canines take center stage at the Chicago Botanic Gardens Spooky Pooch Parade. It's this Sunday from 11 to 1. In addition, there'll be awards for the best overall costume, best dog owner costume, best puppy, and best senior costume. Did you ever have a really good idea and just didn't know how to make it come alive? Well, Chicago Ideas Week is just the ticket. Beginning Saturday and through October 17th, there will be more than 200 global leaders and innovators speaking on a variety of topics at various Chicago locations, as well as hands-on labs where you can learn things from baking the perfect pie to creating museum art and turn those ideas into realities. From your favorite celebrity superheroes to cosplay, comic artists, writers, gamers, and more, you'll find it at Ace Comic Con at the Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont. More than 100 vendors and exhibitors will be on hand today through Sunday. The Bacon and Beer Classic is back. It's tomorrow afternoon at Soldier Field, and it's bigger and better than ever. 100-plus craft beers will be available, along with unlimited bacon-inspired dishes, games, giveaways, live music, and more. And cheer on your favorite runner at the 42nd Chicago Marathon Sunday morning in Grant Park. More than 45,000 participants will make their way through Chicago's north, west, and south sides to the finish line back in Grant Park. All right, Mike. Okay, so you see all these folks behind me. They're getting ready for a demonstration here of glass blowing, and I want to introduce you to Shannon Jane Morgan, and you've been doing this for years. I have, Roz. Thanks for coming to the Morton Arboretum. This is our ninth annual all glass pumpkin patch, and uh, currently we've got a couple glass blowers. Uh, back behind us making a pumpkin and uh, this is one of the ones I made in previous uh, seasons um, we have all this beautiful fall color and if we turn around we're gonna see a pumpkin being born okay so walk us through the steps so now we have Mike and Amanda they're shaping the pumpkin they're putting a little paddle on the bottom so it has a nice bottom and then uh, John is blowing air into the pumpkin and um, this is 2,000 degrees of hot glass it's pretty amazing to have this demonstration happening live here at the Morton Arboretum it's nice because I'm feeling the warmth from that 2,000 degrees oven <laughs> I know I know if I could get us a little closer I would it's just uh, you know it is and that furnace stays on uh, 24 hours a day so Mike is just waiting just for a second and then the other part that's happening is uh, Dan is working on the stem so in about 10 seconds Mike's gonna go over bonk it off bonk is an official word bonk. in black bonk. Technical term. bonk got it and uh, now he's gonna bonk it off and at just the right moment Dan is going to come over, and now we get the fun part of uh, the pumpkin making. We're going to see a stem added to this beautiful, beautiful pumpkin. Oh, cool. Right? So here we go. Okay, Lots of choreography. Here and here we go with the beautiful stem. So we attach it to the top of the pumpkin, wow. and there it goes, and then it pulls up. And here's my favorite part. This is the magical part. It's like here. taffy. It is. <laughs> And there we go, stem after stem, I ring after it. ring. And now he's going to wait for a second, hold, and at just the right moment he'll fall, it'll roll into place, he'll pull those beautiful ringlets around, and that's wow. the short story on how to make a beautiful glass pumpkin. That was fabulous. Applause, people. Applause. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> 
So at 1 o'clock it opens. They're here all weekend. Come on out. Don't let the weather keep you. I'm bundled. I went in the gift shop and bought a, I bought a sweatshirt because it was so cold. Hey, Roz. Hey, Roz. Glass doesn't melt in the rain. Okay. Good to know, <laughs> Shannon. Thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. That was awesome. Bravo. That was like an art show right there. Art class. Great. Thank you, Roz.